primary science should be taught as a science lesson. It should begin with the science phenomena. And I'm always very keen that children connect with their other experiences. So the literacy, the maths, the history, the art, all of that stuff is crucial and the benefit of being in a primary school, why I'm a primary teacher, because you don't teach it in isolation, you teach it within a context that makes sense to the children, but it's a science lesson, so the science should be at the core of it and you should start with the science phenomena and I, I really believe this, it's not about starting with a, a learning tension which you copy off the board and you, you know, you've done 10 minutes before you know what it is, this is about, wow, why did that happen? Or goodness me, I wonder if, and oh, I've just noticed that. It's about really putting the science at the heart of it, the phenomena, what it is we want children to engage with. It's about putting it in a context which makes sense. So if we're seeing, I don't know, how, how we insulate liquids, then it's in a sensible context, like my cup of tea going cold when I'm on playground duty, or, um, or oh, it's not about just a Coke can with cotton wool around it for the sake of it. It's about purposeful, actually I know what I'm doing, I know what I want to find out and I'll know when I get there. So I think those things are crucial to science. I think it should be outdoors as much as possible. I really truly believe, not just the stuff about nature, but all of this, there's so much more space outside for children to be able to explore. So I think going outdoors is crucial to science. Forces lessons can be outside. Just actually, if we're learning about how things move, then we need outdoor space to do that. So a lot of outdoors, I think, there's always a, a tension about practical work. I think practical work involves, is anything that involves children using their hands and their minds. It's not practical work for the sake of it, it's practical work that engages their brains as well, so they're actually thinking and doing. And Ofsted tell us again and again and again that the schools that have the best science are, where is, are the schools where inquiry is at the heart, where we're using the inquiry process to drive and the science learning that children are learning through asking questions, seeking evidence and using the evidence to answer questions.